Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACODs. Well, it's another beautiful day in Oak Mountain and uh, we're back in the yard making firewood. Now you can see back behind me that the wood that I pulled out this winter, I'm getting it down to the brass tacks. I've got it almost cleaned up and today we have to do some manual labor. Now if you've watched my videos, you know that I like to uh, automate my processes and use equipment as much as possible so that I don't have to do any manual labor if I can help it. Um, and that's not because I don't like to do manual labor, that's because I'm getting old and I need to protect my back and be able to do this into my retirement. So I'm trying to work uh, smarter, not harder, as the adage goes. So today what we need to do is get after that uh, oversized wood that won't go through the firewood processor. First thing we're going to do is get the little Kubota B2601 and the cram and log trailer out. We're going to sort what's left there and bring anything that'll go through the processor over to the Hacky Pilke uh, Raven 33 firewood processor. Get that out of the way and then we're going to roll up our shirt sleeves and get her done. Stick around.
Okay guys, we might as well run this little dab of firewood through and uh, get it around to the pile. Some of that wood was doughty and it's not gonna be good for the customers. You'll see me put that right into the trailer to run over to my dad's place. Um, but anyways, uh, we'll get the uh, Hacky Pilke Raven 33 fired up and we will run that little dab of wood through off the table. Okay guys, it's time to get the old uh, 550 XP Mark II Husqvarna chainsaw fired up. And uh, I'm going to cut this up into 16 inch blocks and then I'm going to get the wood splitter going. See how we do. Okay guys, remember I said that we need to work smarter and not harder? We're gonna use a cram and log trailer to pick those up so that I don't have to bend over. I can feel that in my back already. 
I used to cut firewood up like this 20 years ago and I would do 10 or 15 cord a year and sell to customers. I just don't have it in me now as an older fella. Okay guys, that only took us about 10 or 15 minutes to saw up uh, those oversized logs, but I'll tell you that's a workout and it's a good reminder to me why I decided to make the investment into my firewood processor. Now you can't always get away from sawing up on the yard with your chainsaw, but uh, I highly recommend making the investment to the processor. It does the cutting just with the pull of the lever, it does the splitting uh, for you all in one step, and it is much more efficient, but it's costly. Anyways, this is some pretty nice looking firewood. The next step is uh, to finish up that big piece of maple and then pick up the firewood uh, splitter and get to work. Okay guys, a little workout for the Huskies today. 
the 550 it wasn't cutting quite straight i need to do a file job on that and the 545 it wasn't an open it up uh, just as much as it should at the start but it seemed to outperform the 550 today just because of the chain i think anyways we'll get these saws put away and then we'll go get the wood splitter Okay guys, we put quite a dent in the oversize that we're cleaning up today. You can see we've got about one bucket left for the backhoe. Uh, we've put three through so far, so that's a half a cord. So this is gonna make uh, three quarters of a cord of wood that we had here just in oversize. So I did have to get a little bit of help from Lanson um, when I was doing this. It's certainly a lot harder than putting it through the firewood processor, I can tell you that. But it was a good reminder for me uh, just to remember how hard it is to do this all by hand. And I'm so glad and we're so fortunate that we've got the equipment that we have to work with because we do love to work in the woods and work with the woods. But, uh, you know, the, the motto of the day is to work smarter, not harder. And I maintain that I probably wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have the equipment that I have now. So like I always say, guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family and help us grow the channel. And come on back and check on us often, because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.